To order the Seeing and Doing Teacher's Notes for the Spring Term, price £1.10, Anthologies 1 and 2, price £3.95 each, and the Shape Up Software, price £17.75, please contact your local ITV company. Alternatively, send a cheque or postal order to Schools Publications Office, Thames Television, 149 Tottenham Court Road, London W1P 9LL. has come to town. It's early morning and already the showmen are busy setting up the rides and sideshows. This roundabout is very special. It's the oldest ride at the fair. The family who own this roundabout travel all over the country from fair to fair. It takes them about four hours to set it up. There are 30 horses and six cockerels on the roundabout. horse has to be fixed securely and checked for safety before the fair opens. Roundabouts must be safe as well as fun. The horses are carefully carved out of wood, painted in bright glossy colours and decorated in gold. Bold designs like these are traditional at fairs. They catch the eye. All the horses have names. They're named after children in the fairground family. There's Dinah, and Ruby, Perrin, Mark, and little Claire. Each ride is now fixed to the base of the roundabout, and then the footrest is fitted. Each horse is different and has its own decorated badge. Here's a thistle, a pirate, and a buckle for a cockerel. It's not only the rides that are wonderfully decorated, but the whole roundabout. There are paintings of other animals on the centre panels, like this tiger. Here's a lion. And a fierce-looking cheetah. And even the rounding boards are bright with colourful patterns. As the last one's fitted into place, the roundabout is almost ready to go. All the machinery on the roundabout is powered by a generator run on diesel. The generator truck is parked close by. Once this fine old roundabout was driven by steam. First the lights are switched on. Everything has to be checked and tested before the roundabout can be opened for rides. Now let's see how a roundabout is put together. First the centre truck is put into position. The poles come out from the top of the centre truck like a big cartwheel. Next the top of the roundabout is secured. Then the platform is built on. And the horses are attached to the poles. As the brake is taken off, then the music begins to play. The music on old roundabouts like this is played on a mechanical organ, which is placed in the middle of the roundabout. 
This too is beautifully decorated with painted carved figures. And now the roundabout starts to move round. What a splendid sight it is. This is a music book. Each page has a pattern of punched holes. And as each page passes through the organ, the music is read from the holes. The pages fold like a concertina. The music makes a ride very exciting, but let's find out how the roundabout works. Here in the centre, up above the lights and pictures, is the machinery that makes the roundabout go round. The cogs and gears turn whilst the centre pole stays still. But have you noticed that the horses don't just go round, they move up and down too. You can see the cranks turning above, making the poles go up and down. Who would have thought that this roundabout was made about a hundred years ago? This is a model of a roundabout, and these children have been looking at it to design and make their own working models. The first step is to draw a plan of their model. Here's another group planning and designing. Can you just explain this to me? They've used bright fairground colours to paint their own exciting pictures of roundabouts. This was done first. Choosing suitable materials for making the model is very important. The right tools must be used for each job. A hand drill will easily make holes in wood and card. The glue gun sticks things straight away. That's right. But it must be used carefully as the glue is very hot. This piece of doweling will stick quite firmly. This model is so fragile that the girls stick with their fingers. It's helpful to check the plan for the next stage in the making. It's also important to test the model to see if there are any problems. And I tested it, see if it goes on. And then I knew it worked. Then I showed Miss. We could put a elastic band around that. Or we need to lift this up a bit. Or we, no, but we could. Time for talking about alterations. This bit, this one, it's um, it's ripped at the bottom there, so it wobbles about and makes it um, go loose like that. The design of this roundabout seems to work well so far. Helen and Kate are pleased. But for Jay, the testing must go on. Well, this, this bit's fallen off of um, there because 
it, I didn't put enough glue on there and, and it started fall, falling off that side and, and um, fell off and they get stuck because they're too long. This one, it works now because that one's fallen off. When all the models have been successfully tested, the children paint and decorate their roundabouts and begin to make the seats or rides. Balsa wood will make strong seats for Jenny's roundabout. But these two girls have chosen tin foil tubs for their roundabout seats. A hole puncher is the right tool for this job. Here the rides will be cars and not horses. Snips are good for cutting this corrugated plastic. The children use string and wire to fix the rides to their models. The rotating movement of these two yogurt pots makes this model work well. For some, there are still finishing touches to be made. Like the real roundabout, the decorations are very detailed. Tiny patterns are carefully painted on. The children discover that all the surfaces that show have to be covered. Strong, bright colours will make these roundabouts really stand out. This model is driven by a wheel edged with sandpaper, but it can only rotate so far and then back again. Here the roundabout spins by pulling the string wound round the central pole. Underneath it there's two A pair of cogs worked by a rod makes this model roundabout go round. It has a light that flashes on and off. And it can even rotate in a different direction. This model is simply turned by a belt drive. Here's another model worked by cogs. It rotates as the spindle is turned. Now this roundabout is ready to go. I've got to um, make that tighter so it doesn't move round. I put some tape round there to make it colourful and I got a long piece of string and um, the people fall off yeah. so I put a piece of blue tech under there to yeah. keep them off like that. So. The spinning roundabouts pulled by a string seem to be the favourites. Watch how smoothly this one turns. Can you think of any other ways to make a roundabout go round? As darkness falls over the fairground, the lights of the sideshows and rides shine brightly. But it's the famous old roundabout that really stands out. And the reason why it still looks good and works well is that its designers and makers got it right. <laughs>